The power of the press in the Watergate era looms even larger when seen through the prism of today's very different media environment. The Watergate era, coming out of the 60s, and it was before the 80s where media consolidation really began, uh, was a high point for investigative journalism. I think what Woodward and Bernstein did was just radically change uh, journalism in American politics, primarily, I think, for the good. American politics was always defined by what you might call the Walter Winchell effect, the well-known journalist before their time who really made a name for himself by being very cozy with people in positions of authority and power. What Woodward and Bernstein really did was act more as guardians of the American government, which is something that the system needed. I give the management and ownership of the Washington Post full credit for accepting near all the threats that the administration applied to them. They made every threat they could think of to try to silence the Washington Post. Catherine Graham inherited this paper when her husband died. We'd been through the Pentagon Papers together, and we had a relationship where I expected her to support me. And, uh, she was so supportive of the newsroom, you can't believe it. Down here, I read all three or four times a day on a, on a good day. At the end of Watergate, journalism schools were filled with people who wanted to be investigative reporters, wanted to be Woodward and Bernstein. And in fact, it got kind of trite uh, that regular reporters were suddenly the investigative journalists of their newspaper rather than just another one of the people out off the city desk. I thought they should be doing that job anyway. I'm not uh, a reporter who thinks that uh, so-called investigative journalism necessarily is different from the rest of, of journalism. It seems to me that all good uh, reporting is pretty much the same thing, the best obtainable version of the truth. Obviously that applies perhaps a bit more to what we call in quotes investigative journalism. I do hope that the aggressiveness that came in those days of investigative journalism, unquote, is still uh, there in the city rooms. Uh, and I, I believe that for the most part it is.